Hello everyone, and welcome to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV, and today we're going to be going into the Manderville Gold Saucer, because I don't think I've actually been there yet. And if you want to unlock it, I believe it's in the Old Dust Steps of Nold, right outside the Aetherite Crystal, and I think you might have to go use a... flying ship, or airship, to get here for the first time. And they'll give you a tutorial. As the update said, Lords of Vermilion, or Verminion, I can't remember the name of it, because I haven't actually done it yet, because I don't really care about it, it's still now available though, for those who actually want to engage in it, you can do so. But the main attraction, and what a majority of you are probably going to be doing in here, is not this, not the triple triad counter. You're probably going to want the mini Cactpot Broker, because this is a daily of sorts. Because, if you know what you're doing, unlike me, you can make a decent amount of MGP here. MGP is the currency that they use in the Manderville Gold Saucer. Manderville Gold Saucer points, I don't know what they, you know. Anyway, your goal is to get one, two, three. One, two, three. So you can get the big 10,000 MGP prize. Unfortunately, you have to kind of guess, because unless you uncover the right ones, you're not going to know. You can go diagonal, up, down, vertical, horizontal, other redundant adjectives. You get what I'm going here, and... Did I mention I suck at this whole thing? I'm not good with probability yet. I'll get used to it. Anyway, you can do that three times a day, I think. Eat the second ticket costs 200, and the third ticket costs, what, 300? So hopefully you at least win one of them, otherwise you're gonna actually make yourself go broke. But that's not the only thing you can do in the Mandeville Gold Saucer. That's probably just the one you're going to be doing every time you come in here, though. Excuse me, because that's what a lot of people come in here to do. Now... If that's if scratch off lottery tickets are not your forte or you just don't want to waste the money because it's a tax on the stupid as you think, then you don't have to do that. There are other things to do in here. Namely, I'm trying to think of uh, where we're going, where I should go here. And there are oh, oh god. I just remembered the one time I tried a gate, I think it was right around here and I failed horrifically. We'll get into gates a little while later, because they are fun if you're in the mood for it, if you're... It's, it's more of a silly minigame kind of thing where I think you gain, where you gain MGP. Excuse me, but as you can see, the Menville Gold Saucer is beautiful. They really did a nice job with the aesthetics in this place, and it's a good thing too, considering you can really just spend your whole day in Gold Saucer if you so choose. Whether that be playing mini games, obviously you can't do the mini cackpot all the time. But as I said, the gate. Gatekeepers are... I believe you have to talk to them before the start of each gate. It's been a long time. If you saw the things back there, those were the mini games, the monster toss. It's kind of, if you've been to an arcade, kind of like street basketball. I don't know what they're called anymore, but you can get different challenges done in the thing. Mini games are like the monster toss back there. Uh, the Triple Triad's pretty obvious what you want to do with that. You play Triple Triad with any of the NPCs, or people for that matter. If you can find someone actually wanting to play with you, which... First time in my Gold Saucer... First time in the Gold Saucer, I got whispered, Do you want to play a game of Triple Triad? I was like, holy crap, people are actually playing that. But, yeah, there are, I think, four, five different minigames. Uh, there's the Moogle Claw, there's the... I don't know, there's one where you hit the... I don't, know what, I don't want to call it a button. It's kind of like that carny game where you hit the thing as hard as you can and the thing goes up and hits the bell. Yeah, kind of like that. It's uh, really just a way to get cheap MGP so you can do your mini cackpot, essentially. Uh, like I said, different gates. I know one of them is Stealth Gate, which I failed horrifically, which I don't feel as bad because I think everybody, like near everybody, failed that time. There's one where you have to go up to the top of that little... I don't know if you want to call it outcropping up there, where there's, I think there's a little choke, baby chocobo up there trapped, where you saw that person up there. I'm trying to think all the different little gates they have, and if you couldn't put it together, yes, gates are similar to fates. Except, they, I think they only come, what, once an hour? I, I'm not, I'm, I am not sure when gates happen, okay, I'm not a Mandeville Gold Saucer regular, but I do know they happen fairly often. Now, the other thing you're going to be coming in here for, probably weekly, if you play the lottery in real life, is the Jumbo Cackpot. We already went over the Mini Cackpot, now we're going after the Jumbo. Now the Jumbo is essentially a lottery. And the, the prize is, I think, over a million Mandeville Gold Saucer points. And it is, obviously, you are not very likely to win it. But on the off chance you do, everybody on your server will envy you, right? That's something. 
The only the only kicker with it is if you ever played or even heard of the Powerball, it's somewhat similar. You have to get every single or every single thing right. I think you can get some of them right and still get some credit, but they have to be the first ones. I think if I think if you get the last one right, it doesn't really matter. I guess we'll see here shortly. Uh, let's see. Yes, that's just where you can see how people did last week and what they won. So, you can see what the different prizes are and what different results were previous weeks. Uh, it's really nothing to do unless you want to just look at it. I find it interesting to see who won. But if you actually want to, you know, play the lottery, you have to purchase a ticket. Now, you have to come back and you have to go and see if you won, but you get to choose what numbers you have. The numbers really don't matter, I just choose a random. So feel free to enter your lucky number or just hit buttons randomly, it doesn't really matter. You have the same chance of winning either way. Well, I say that, but I might be wrong on that one, I'm not very good with probabilities. I don't think it probably matters though. And then, yeah, everybody's gonna be coming back. I think you have, the numbers are revealed Saturday and you have until the next Saturday to claim your prize, if you win. If you don't claim your prize and you won, you're gonna kick yourself later. And, I'm trying to think if there's anything else in the Gold Saucer. Obviously there's Lords of Vermilion, Verminion, I can't remember the names of it. But if you want to spend the MGP, I've got all this MGP, Barok, what do I do with it? You trade it in. Now, I doubt you're gonna want any of the weapons, because, unless you really like the glamour of them, which... I really don't know why you'd like the glamour of these, and I'll show you why I don't think you'd like it, because... The, the axe of itself is rather bland. I don't know if all of them are, but, you know, if you want them, you can get it. I'd probably recommend one of the other tabs. There's a lot of different stuff, or if you just want to go around, get some lore. Talk to some of the people there. Get a good chuckle if you talk to the right people. Because I remember one of them said something like, I think my only reason I was hired here is so I have to look at that bulge in that statue. I'm like, what? What is he talking about? See if you can spot what he's talking about. I have the Frickin' perception of a two-year-old. I did not notice, even though I just walked right past it. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, what is he talking about? Is he talking about the cactuar? Oh, that's what he's talking about. Yes, and again, if you watch my Let's Play for, uh, to this point, you know who that's a statue of. It's a statue of, uh, Hildebrand's old man. I forgot his name, if he even has a name. Now, there's also a chocobo raising, but I'm not gonna get into that right now, though. I'm not going to show the Vermilion, I might save that for another video. But, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Unless you just wanna sit here watching me... ...basically enjoying the Manorville Gold Saucer, which I can't imagine you do. I'm mainly, mainly just doing this so I can... I, I'm never in the saucer, so I enjoy looking around, I'm sorry. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully you learned something, or... Encourage you to go to the gold saucer once per day to do your mini cack pot because it can add up folks if you get the lucky win Farewell everyone until next time